American Bullfrog Study in Blaney Bog, British Columbia, Canada. This was conducted by me, Gary Ordog, MD, the week of July 23rd to July 29th. The method was I walked through the same kilometer of slough every day for a week. I photographed every frog seen up to 200 in one kilometer of the bog. Analyzed each photograph to ID the species of the frog, then statistical analysis of the frog species based on n equals 1400. The results, all 1400 were the American bullfrog. No other indigenous frogs were found. Conclusion, this was astounding as the American bullfrog is an invasive species here. The American bullfrog was introduced into BC in the 20th century to raise for legs for meat. They were large, aggressive, and ate all the local fauna. And on a personal note, I am upset to see none of the frogs that I grew up with anymore. And since the American bullfrog was introduced, they apparently ate all the other frogs. So anyway, here's the American bullfrog. In the rest of the video, I will show you some of my photographs. I won't show you all 1,400. Uh, that would take a little while unless somebody asked for it. But anyway, here's your typical frog in Blaney Bog, which is the American bullfrog. And I say unfortunately because uh, these frogs seem to have eaten all the local indigenous frogs. And these are the invasive frogs, the unnatural frog. They weren't supposed to be here. They were introduced for uh, the meat industry, frogs legs. Uh, I assume maybe some French person. I don't know, but uh, I think they eat most of the frog legs as far as I know. But I guess in Indonesia I saw that they also eat the American bullfrog frog legs. Okay, anyway, here's uh, lots of pictures of the American bullfrog. You can see they have yellow eyes. Uh, they either have a white for female neck or chin and the males when they're in season for reproduction have a yellow chin or neck. So uh, the eardrum is just behind the eye and then the female it's about the same size as the eye and the male it's twice as big as the eye so you can tell which is male and female just by looking at most of these. Okay, these are all Blaney Bog over a one week period. Here, this one's facing the wrong direction. There's obviously a male, a big external eardrum and a yellow throat or neck. Uh, in the literature they call it a throat, but being a physician anatomically, I believe it's part of the neck from the chin on down. Okay, here's a white one that's probably female, smaller external tympanic membrane or eardrum. Here's another white neck with a smaller external tympanic membrane, so obviously female. And here's another one, female, female. Anyway, these are all American bullfrogs. They do not have the back ridge that the green frogs another indigenous or uh, sorry another invasive species would have uh, and again you saw no indigenous species and if you read my article you can read about the indigenous species that I was supposed to find but did not find even one of them and lots of American bullfrogs and in the literature and here and in the video I call them ABFs for American Bullfrog. So uh, usually you go along you can see them because their uh, snout and their eyes are sticking out of the water waiting for some prey to come by. You can see that their mouths are huge they're the whole size of their head so they can basically swallow something as large as they are. Uh, which can be very large. These are the largest frog in this area, the American bullfrog, and they do get 
quite big, several pounds in size and weight, and uh, scary large. So that's why they, I assume, eat everything uh, around them. So here's a nice one. I've shown you this one in previous videos. Here's the ABF American Bullfrog and the yellow neck male reproductive ABF and uh, here's the bullfrog you can see the part the yellow throat or neck the yellow eyes no back fold which would identify the green frog it does have a large ear fold which identifies the American bullfrog and again this one is a male because the yellow neck and large external eardrum. Here's a female small external eardrum and a white neck or throat. So the American Bullfrog. This is it. Medical toxicology, Gary J. Ordog, MD.